So let's zoom in on this. While Hubble has given astronomers snapshots of a universe they have never seen before. So here's another good one to look The famed telescope is poised to take that a step further yeah. with space movies. We will increase the the fact that Hubble has been around for as long as it has been means by taking multiple images you can actually stitch them together. That really gives you true insight into the, the physics of the dynamics of what's going on. The dynamics Pat Hartigan's team is studying are those of stars at the very beginning of their birth. When young stars form, they form out of molecular clouds which consist of gas and dust. And as the star collapses, it spins and some of that material ends up going into a disk. Material from the disk falls onto the star and then is redirected in these highly collimated beams. You can actually see the individual shock fronts as the jet moves out and we can watch how the jet is interacting with its surroundings and dragging material along with it. But what the Hubble Space Telescope shows us is just the beginning. Scientists are then expanding our understanding of what happens to young stars by basically reproducing what Hubble sees. So Adam, where are we now? This machine here, this giant laser, was actually designed to try and create energy the same way the sun creates energy, which opened up a new window for us to understand how stars form. Laser experiments, Hubble, how does that all relate to each other? Well, essentially, inside that chamber, you can create in a small scale version of what we see in the um, Hubble Space Telescope. We have a small tube, a few millimeters across, with a little washer on the end. And we take the laser energy and we strike this one side of the washer, and that basically squirts plasma, or very high temperature gas, into the tube. So the material in the washer becomes the jet, and the material in the tube becomes the cloud. But laser experiments aren't all astronomers can do. Well, we're going to look at some simulations. To delve deeper into the fireworks of starbirth. What a numerical simulation is, is basically taking the mathematics, which we think describes these jets, and watch the evolution of these systems that we couldn't otherwise do. Nature only gives us what it gives us when we look on the sky, but now we have the ability to control the entire environment. It actually forces us to think in a very different way about the phenomena. The phenomena of star formation, which holds the key to how we got here. From the Space Telescope Science Institute in Baltimore, Maryland, I'm Mary Estacion.